Hey guys, welcome to Mama's Messy Kitchen. If you are new around here, my name is Amanda and I usually share a grocery haul every single week here on my channel. Today I went to Walmart and spent $230. As you can see, it's a big one, so I'm just gonna hop right in. Alright, so the first thing I grabbed was the Arnold Whole Green 100% Whole Wheat Bread. This, like it says right on here, no added nonsense, so it's minimal ingredients and tastes good. My kids like this kind. And then I just grabbed some like slider rolls. They only had like the King Hawaiian and then these, so I went with these because I did not want a sweet roll this time. I did get a carton of eggs and then I got some of these Mission spinach wraps. I did order the wheat ones, but they gave me these instead and I actually prefer these anyway. So that was a win in my case. In here I just have a pork tenderloin. And then I have a bunch of different drink stuff. So I have this uh, sparkling ice black raspberry for um, my Halloween drinks video. That'll be out, I don't know, maybe next Monday, I think. And then I have, I just grabbed the Great Value Italian Sweet Cream Coffee Creamer. I They didn't have pumpkin in my store. And that really sucks because it's not even Thanksgiving yet. And I guess if you don't start drinking pumpkin in August, like you miss out. So they had the peppermint mocha, which I love, but I'm not ready for it yet. I like that in like November, the end of November and December. So I don't know. I grabbed this Italian sea cream and hopefully it is good. And then I needed some cranberry juice for that drink recipe. And the Sprite is for a drink recipe. I did grab some of the Starbucks iced coffee. I have been getting the Dunkin' Donuts, but Walmart didn't have it. Back here, I did get two of these Blackberry um, unsweetened sparkling waters. And then I got a lime. And then this is new. It's the Star Sun Kissed Strawberry Lemonade. And I can't wait to try this. It looks really, really good. I did get some caramel apples for the kids. And I grabbed some black grapes. I needed another uh, ranch packet and this is the creamy dill ranch I got this by accident a couple weeks ago and I love it I think that the creamy dill one is way better than just the regular one and then I needed an Italian packet too I got some capers I got some ground turmeric and then I needed black sprinkles but they gave me purple which will also be adorable so it's okay I needed some honey and then I grabbed some sun-dried tomatoes. The, this brand is really good. I've bought these before. And then I grabbed some cannellini beans and some of the Frank's Red Hot Wings. And I don't remember if I said, but I got some of the 2% organic milk back there. I did get a big thing of unsweetened applesauce for the kids I have at home, but they usually do pouches and stuff when we're on the go or in their lunch boxes. Um, I got a can, big can of the diced tomatoes. And then I grabbed some quartered artichoke hearts. And then we were out of garlic, so I grabbed some of this minced garlic. I like fresh garlic cloves in a lot of things, but 99% of the time I'm using this. I grabbed some of the Crazy Richards 100% peanut butter. This is our favorite. If you have picky kids that don't like the natural peanut butter, this one is it. My kids love this one. Then back here, I just grabbed some of the Zero Sugar Gatorade in the blue kind. I needed um, some cream cheese for a recipe that will be melted. So, of course, I got the name brand because the store brand never melts as good. I did grab some more butter. And then we got the Black Forest Ham, the Great Value kind. This is really, really good. I've gotten it before. Um, we're going to make a couple different things with that. I did get two things of the raspberry jello, and I only got a little thing of pepperoni because I'm doing some other things for the kids' lunches this week. I got some sliced provolone cheese and then some Colby Monterey Jack cheese. I got the roasted red pepper hummus. This one is like my whole family's favorite. We can all agree on that. The taco one was really good too, but my Walmart did not carry that. I grabbed a big thing of strawberries. I wanted organic. Um, because apparently if you eat non-organic strawberries, you're pretty much eating straight poison. Obviously, I don't buy all, all organic or really worry about that too much, but the strawberries freaked me out. <laughs> so I tried to buy organic and they didn't have it. So I got regular um, strawberries, whatever. We haven't died yet, right? So I did get some blueberries as well and some raspberries and then some blackberries and berries are freaking expensive, you guys. Like I think these raspberries were $5.00 for the case, maybe close to $6, and my kids would eat these in one sitting. So I have to ration those out so they last the week. 
And then I grabbed some original vanilla yogurt for the kids. And then I got the big thing of Greek yogurt, the plain kind to use instead of sour cream and a lot of stuff. And then I grabbed some of the Oiko's little yogurts to actually like eat. And this is the key lime pie and I think, and that's lemon meringue. So obviously I like citrus. <laughs> I did get a thing of crescent rolls. And then back here I just grabbed some Kalamata olives. These are the pitted ones. And then this is the second time I bought this. So it's the Ragu Simply. It's like Alfredo sauce, but it has cauliflower in it. Um, so it's less fat and calories and it has some veggies in there and it's really good. We had it before. So I got a couple um, Near East things. So I got the quinoa. This is the roasted red pepper and basil. This is new to us. I've never tried this one before, but the couscous in the roasted garlic and olive oil is amazing i i love this stuff this is my favorite so i got a couple for some meal prep and some dinners back here i just got the barilla whole grain rotini i ordered the great value but they were out so they subbed me the name brand for the same price down here i just got some of the wild wonders tomatoes these are so good for snacking and things like that and then i did grab some grape tomatoes for recipes and I grabbed a big thing of kiwis. The kids love kiwis. I just cut them in half and they eat them with a spoon. I got a big thing of the spinach and spring mix blend. And then in here is just a broccoli crown. And then I grabbed four lemons. And then I'm trying this holy chunky avocado mini. So they're just like little avocado cups, but they won't go as bad. They won't go bad as fast as buying a fresh avocado. Um, so usually that's what happens to me. I am horrible at avocados So I wanted some of this for some avocado toast and things like that and apparently you can freeze these So I might try that Then I got some of these frozen berries um, For smoothie bags. I'm gonna prep some smoothie bags for the kids with some bananas And then as usual, I got these mini bell peppers um, I shared a recipe for stuffed mini bell peppers in the crock pot and these are what I used um I'll link it down below if you want to check that out, but I usually just snack on these. I did get one English cucumber and then two regular cucumbers. I just like the combo of having the skin on sometimes and then one of these are actually for tzatziki sauce. So just some cucumber variety, I guess. And then I grabbed two sweet potatoes and two red onions and then bananas. So I've been seeing this in the store a lot and I've been like deciding whether or not to get it because it is kind of pricey. I think it's close to $7, but it is a pretty big bag. And this is the maple flavored trail mix. So you can see here what's inside. And I got this for to make like energy balls for the kids, but like a little bit of a fall flavored ones. So that'll work perfectly. Then I got some of the pistachios. I don't, I think I ordered like one big bag, but they're out. So they gave me two of the little bags. I love pistachios. They're probably my favorite nut. And I got a bunch of nuts to snack on this week. Then I'm trying these blue diamond almond nut thins. So I think I ordered the pepper jack ones and I guess they were out. So they gave me the cheddar cheese ones. So it's a nut and and rice cracker snacks it's wheat and gluten free um, there's three grams of protein still 22 grams of carbs but no sugars um, I think this is just healthier so they're just made with real almonds no wheat or gluten blah blah blah, blah. Uh, I just thought they'd be a little healthier than just regular crackers but I also grabbed some of these wheat thins um, I'm trying just trying to get whole 100% whole grain crackers in the house and especially for me and my husband the kids I, I don't even know if they'll like these but my kids are just so in love with the Ritz crackers. I don't know if they'll make the switch, but I will try it out on them. Then I did get some of the Blue Diamond Habanero Barbecue Almonds. So they look really fun. So a tip to eat almonds instead of like chips and stuff is to get a bunch of flavored kind. And this looks really, really good. Then for like a sweet option, I did get the Roasted Almonds with Dark Chocolate. Um, I did order the Walmart kind, but they subbed me the Dove kind. And these look really good just for something sweet, but still has some protein in it from the nuts. Then I grabbed some 100% whole grain old fashioned oats, just the Walmart kind. It's like a giant thing, so this will last us forever. I just needed it for the energy balls and I didn't know it was that big. And then for some non-food stuff, I did get 100 um, of the Everyday Paper Plates. These are our favorite paper plates. They're so affordable and um, they're so affordable, I can't find them you know, at a better price anywhere else. And then I just grabbed the Emma some baby wipes. I always use the unscented, just plain ones. And you get 240 of them. 
So that was a really good price too. I needed some more gallon uh, freezer bags, so I did get one of those. And then I did grab some of these mini cups. These are great for um, like putting dips in and stuff like that, ketchup, whatever, for school lunches. I find that my kids can open these better than the um, like Sistema brand like little cups and they always break for some reason. So I just grab these and they, they throw them away when they're done with them. And then I grabbed some of these Viva signature cloth paper towels. Um, do you guys know about these or am I like the last one? Because I grabbed one of these in the store, just I needed one roll of paper towels to hold me over. And oh my gosh, they are like amazing. They literally feel like you're using a cloth. So they're only like a dollar more than the Walmart kind that I usually buy, but these are really, really good. If you are in the market for new paper towels, try these, they're so cool. And then I'm like so obsessed. I found this on the Walmart grocery pickup. It is a skull pitcher and this is gonna be perfect for my drink video coming up, my Halloween drink video. So I just love this. I think it is so cute. All right guys, and that is it for my Walmart grocery haul. Um, doesn't look like $230, doesn't feel like $230, but it is pretty much all healthy stuff. And no one can tell me that healthy doesn't cost more because it does. So now I'm gonna share with you my meal plan. All right, so I'm able to share with you guys my meal plan this week because I'm not doing subscriber meal ideas, at least while I'm doing Vlogoween because it's just a little too much. So I'm able to actually plan out my meals um, ahead of time. So this is from 1016 to 1022. So um, I broke everything down into lunch and dinner, and then I have um, breakfast up here. So for breakfast options, I have avocado toast, yogurt and granola with berries, peanut butter toast, and chocolate milk. Um, for snacks, I have nuts, dark chocolate nuts, whole grain crackers with cheese or hummus, yogurt, fruits and veggies, and dip and stuff like that. Um, the kids have all their variety fun snacks, so they're pretty set. I didn't have to get much. Um, Thursday for lunch, um, we're going to have quinoa Mediterranean lunch bowls. And then for dinner, we're going to have crock pot Mediterranean chicken. On Friday, we will have Mediterranean lunch bowls again, and that's the kids. You'll see that in the kids' lunch video. And then on Fridays, we usually eat out. And then on Saturday for lunch, I'm gonna be making ham and cheese sliders for the fridge. The kids can have that. And then um, we'll have grilled chicken pitas or wraps. I guess we'll have wraps, because that's what I ended up getting. And on Sunday, we're having people over for um, football game. The Eagles play Dallas, <laughs> so it's a pretty big deal around here. So I'm making buffalo chicken dip and then meatballs in the crock pot. And then on Monday, we will have a sweet potato arugula salad. All these things I'm gonna show you in a meal prep video, so that should be out on Monday. I'm gonna film it tomorrow. Um, and then a pork tenderloin for dinner. That's an well, Italian pork tenderloin. That's gonna be my new Croctober recipe for next Tuesday. And then um, more sweet potato over arugula salad. And then we're gonna have veggie flatbreads with a Greek drizzle, which sounds amazing. And if you're interested, here is my um, shopping list, if you can read my handwriting. And that is it for today's grocery haul and meal plan. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.